Welcome to another edition of JavaScript for You. A couple of days ago I went through catching exceptions. What about the other side of that, throwing them? It's not always the case that you just want to catch exceptions that might happen because of errors in code that you're not expecting. You might have errors you do expect. And for a simple but trivial example, I have a little prompter coming up and it asks for a number between 0 and 10. And if the number falls outside that range, I'm going to throw an exception. Now, exceptions can either be numeric, so you could put numbers on them. They can be strings, they can be logically named, or they can be Booleans. So pretty much you can come up with a standard and use them across your entire code base. Here I'm using strings, so error 1, error 2, and error 3, depending on what I've put in here. And then I just pop up an appropriate error. So you could do this for something like a check where somebody is supposed to enter some kind of password and maybe your system can't handle passwords longer than so many characters or maybe every password has to have a number so you have various checks you can put in and throw exceptions on those and this is an example of doing that code throw the exception else if throw the exception and then down here we have the catch and we check the exception type notice in the catch you can check what kind of exception you actually got so let's take a look at that we'll double click and I'll put in a number here I'll put in say 76 and you see it comes up the air is too high now what I'll do is I'll just come in and try that again and instead I'll put in some string and say oh it's not a number and that's pretty much all there is to it so for JavaScript if you want to catch exceptions all you need to do is this if you want to throw exceptions you can again name them with string names numeric names or booleans so that's about it for today until next time have fun with JavaScript